Everyone grows up. I won't ever forget about you, Pooh. Not even when I'm 100. Everyone moves on. But some friendships... Christopher Robin. Who? ...last a lifetime. Are you glad to see me? On August 3rd... Everyone, welcome to London. Thank you for the ride. No. <laughs> ...from the director of Finding Neverland. Your ladder is broken. That was a shelf. Well, that explains why it's no good for climbing. Disney's Christopher Robin. Rated PG. In theaters August 3rd. Oh, I do like a party. Come on, Pig. What should happen? If you forget about me. Silly old bear. I won't ever forget about you, Pooh. I promise. Not even when I'm a hundred. We should be working this weekend, Robin. But I, I promised my wife and daughter I'd take them away this weekend. All hands on deck. You won't be coming to the cottage. Well, it can't be helped. Your life is happening now, right in front of you. What to do, what to do, what to do. What to do indeed. Pooh? Christopher Robin. No. The tree I remember was in the countryside, not here in London. There's no opening. I suppose it's where it needs to be. Well, that's a silly explanation. Why, thank you. Who? Why are you here? Oh, yes, I need your help. I've lost all of my friends. Let's get to the bottom of this. Look up, who? Here I come. Uh, oh. It would appear that I am stuck. Have you just eaten honey? I have not just eaten honey. I wonder which way. I always get to where I'm going by walking away from where I have been. Do you? That's the way I do it. Hello, you. Christopher Robin, it's you playing again. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can find Piglet. I've already stayed far too long. Hello, everyone. It's Christopher Robin! So nice to see you all again. Why, thank you. Silly old bear. I was wrong about work. I was wrong about everything, and I've got to get back to my family. Farewell, Christopher Robin. I would have liked it to go on for a while longer. Perhaps it's our turn to save Christopher. <laughs> you must be Madeline. Wait, you're the bear in my father's drawings? Yes. Do you know where he is? I do. <laughs> Let's bounce! I just saw the most preposterous imposter. Look at him. Digger! Heel! Piglet! If anyone wants to clap, now is the time to do it. Oh, bother. Oh, dear, dear. I don't remember being cheery. <laughs> People say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. No, Poo, that's not the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hey animated movie fans, I hope you liked the video. Would you give it thumbs up or down? I've got a cool movie fact for you about The Lion King. Now, the name of the movie seems pretty straightforward, right? But did you know that its original title was actually King of the Jungle? Marketing materials and merchandise had even been made before the studio realized lions don't live in the jungle. <laughs> Did you know that Nemo first made his appearance in Monsters, Inc. as one of Boo's toys? That was two years before Finding Nemo was released. Did you know that the man who served as the voice of Walt Disney's iconic Mickey Mouse for over 30 years, Wayne O'Wine, was married to the woman who voices Minnie Mouse, Rosie Taylor? The two were married for nearly two decades until Wayne O'Wine passed away in 2009. Oh, isn't that sweet? Did you know that Buzz Lightyear's original name was Lunar Larry? <laughs> I'm so happy they changed it. Can you imagine Buzz being called Larry? Mm. Here's another change of name for you. Tom and Jerry were originally called Jasper and Jinx. Did you also know that DreamWorks Studios stopped producing 2D animated films after Simba's Legend of the Seven Seas? And finally, in their most productive week ever recorded, Pixar completed 3.5 minutes of animation. Valley here with an interesting motion capture fact from 2003's Finding Nemo. For the character Bruce, extensive motion capture was used of actual great white sharks to get the character's shark look. Six different sharks were used, including two from the private collection at Mandalay Bay Casino in Las Vegas. I loved Finding Nemo. What about you? Did you know that Pumba the, in The Lion King was the first character to fart in a Disney movie? just fits in perfect with the character, don't you think? I wonder who the second character was. <laughs> yeah, so I'm the first uh, to fart in the films now. 
Now, I love a good animated movie, as I'm sure you do. But have you ever noticed that a lot of cartoon characters have four-fingered hands instead of five? The reason is simple. Hands with four fingers are easier to draw and animate. Cartoon characters are always simplified versions of whatever their real-life equivalent is. A four-fingered hand saves a lot of time in animating and it really does not make any difference to us while watching. It all started with the very first Mickey Mouse cartoon. Production on Beauty and the Beast, which was a combination of traditional hand-drawn and computer-generated images, ran out of time and money, so they had to reuse the dancing scenes from Sleeping Beauty. Also, do you remember this scene in Frozen where Elsa walks out of her ice palace? Well, it took 132 hours, more than five days to generate, and that's not including the time it took to draft, draw and create. Whoa. What did you think of the CGI in that video? Well, did you know that the first feature film created solely with computer-generated imagery, CGI, was Disney Pixar's 1995 feature film Toy Story. Over 800,000 hours of mathematical equations went into the film, which works out to more than a week of computer time for every second on the screen. So you like Disney animated movies? Well, I've got an interesting fact from The Little Mermaid. In that it was the last Disney animated film to use the time-consuming process of hand-painted cells and analog camera and film work. 1,100 backgrounds featured, 1,000 different colors and over 1 million drawings were done in all. Adding to that, the last shot completed in The Little Mermaid, where Ariel is reaching up through the skylight of her grotto, took four attempts to get the optical effects perfect. Whoa. My favorite Disney film is The Sword in the Stone, and my favorite character is Archimedes, the owl. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to our channel for all the best animated film releases. Bye!